you know, there's a lot of talk I see about Jake Paul and, you know, fight a real boxer and all this kind of stuff. And is Tommy Fury a real boxer? And my thing is this. If Tommy Fury's a real boxer, Jake Paul's a real boxer. If Jake Paul's not a real boxer, Tommy Fury's not a real boxer. That's the way I look at it. Tommy Fury, he was born into boxing. He had to do this. He had no choice, pretty much. He's still on some reality star thing or whatever, but he's not really taking boxing that seriously. He hasn't been for most of his life. He's got like eight fights. I don't know his amateur career or whatever. Jake Paul, he was a Disney star, as everyone knows. He was in, did some YouTube videos. Honestly, I didn't even hear this dude until my brother told me about him when he was, uh, I think it was him or his brother. They did like some kind of prank and like it was like controversial because they made fun of someone who's dead or they made fun of something like that. I don't know, it was a special needs. I don't know what it was, but I, I had heard about them. I didn't know much about these guys. I'm not in that world, but he took his fan base from that industry and got into the boxing industry and he's taking it seriously. He's probably taking it more seriously than, Ty than Tommy Fury has. He's probably training harder. Uh, he's probably gotten grew more from when he started a few years ago to now than what Tommy Fury did when he has been doing the last few years, you know, how much he's put work into it and grown. So my question is this, who's the real boxer? Is the real boxer the guy who's forced into it, doesn't have a choice and doesn't put the work in? Or is the real boxer the guy who has a choice, could do whatever he wants and probably make a lot of money, but still chooses to do boxing and put the work in? and fight in big fights on pay-per-view and headline and put his life and health in danger. Who's the real boxer? Let me know what you guys think. Peace.